Damn. Oh shoot. What's with the smile? <gasps> I should have known. I should have predicted it. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Demon Slayer season four. <laughs> four or five. Oh Mimi. Uh, I always do this. I feel like it's four, but let me make sure. Yep, season four. <laughs> episode eight. Hashira Unite. Oh my goodness. Last episode with the Hashira Unite. The way the last episode ended with Muzan just like strolling into the mansion, coming face to face with Ubuyashiki. It's also like, uh huh. Uh, I am so excited. And I didn't even know until I sat down that this was going to be the last episode of the season. Okay, and it's 40 minutes. <sighs> I can only imagine the whole that's going to happen this episode. Oh my goodness. And I thought he found my earrings. I was just like cleaning up my room and stuff. And then I found it. I'm like, yay. And it's like for the final episode. Oh, yay. <sighs> okay, so before we get into this episode, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and please consider supporting my Patreon at patreon.com slash filmini. And now let's start this episode. And here we go. Okay, guys, in case the reaction gets blocked and I had to cut out the reaction itself, you can just look in the pinned comment in the comment section where for the link to the reaction highlight itself. So you can just click on it, watch it, and then you just come back for my review. <sighs> I don't think there's going to be any opening this episode. <sighs> This is ominous. <laughs> the last episode they were playing like the outro music over his entrance and whatnot. I don't know. I feel like the, the one with the outro it felt more appropriate. I don't know. Moza. Final episode. Wait, when does first say final episode? Like final episode of the series or like I don't know. A thousand years. Oh, he can't even see him. しているそうか。そう。私だけは君が君自身が殺しに来ると思っていた。千年にもわたり私の邪魔ばかりしてきた一族の王さんがこの。あ、で、ご。私は半年も前には医者から数日で死ぬと言われていた。君と私は同じ血筋なんだよ。うん。何の感情もわかる。Of and then the curse will be lifted. Wow. He doesn't care about all of that. 
には何の因果関係もなし。The reasons why he's been after you for so long that you are so. Or you about to? No, 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 Is he, are they actually there or is he just having some kind of hallucination? Like, are those Hibuyashiki's children? So, she took on Yashiki, you are. You mean she can in the night. Ubu Yashiki to Tsuma, Kodom of Tari Dak, who met so you may meet a little. So, no, to read. That's not what I say. That's not what I say. So he hasn't found her yet. Hmm. この千年間、鬼殺隊はなくならなかった。そして、なくならなかくならなかった。が、くだらないと言った人の思いが、不滅であることを証明している。Don't tell me they're doing this and then the kids are just, are just gonna die. 君は誰にも。許されていない何度も何度もトラウンドに竜の激輪に触れているたはずのトラや竜を<笑>彼らは嘘そこ He won't care 殺したところで They'll still go after you. What does she see? Well, sorry, hold on to your janine. Kimmy Tatiba Kimmy, she never spit in owning a whole of a battle. I forgot about that. Oh, did we not know that? Well, because I mean, they came from him, right? All the mess came from him. Simon, he told the key guy. But she was called Nakotoni Kisat's die. Token Hashirano Kotachi. Yes, that's gonna inflame them. What does she got? She knew that. Imama de Ijon Kisat's die no skin. Hanger. Ah, no, she was already done. <laughs> Why do I feel like crying right now? They love him so much. No, you won't. I'm sorry, but you won't. <laughs> Stop it. I don't care about you right now. He's, he's gonna kill the whole family, right? Was he? <sighs> what do you mean? Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry right now? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't care about you right now. 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 おやかたさまおやかたさまおやかたさまおやかたさまおやか
I just love how. That's why he didn't want them there. He didn't want them there. He planted the. おのれと妻と子供もろとも爆薬を消し飛ばす。私は思い違いをしていた。何も特別の何か。自分自身を大人に使ったのだ。あの腹黒はあれだけの殺意を。Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. Clearly. <laughs> Whose blood demon art was that? Can he? Oh, <gasps> that's why he, he, he wanted her at the mansion. Oh. We stayed at flowers stuff. There's a go. Probably play the it's because <sighs> Why am I got emotional? <笑>君は人を守るために戦ったのだと私は知っているよ。君は人殺しではない。いつか<笑> 先見の命とも言う。未来を見通す力。これにより彼らは財を成し、子供たちは私自身を取りに使うことを承知しないだろうとか。もうこれ以上私の大切な子供たちが。やはり親方様の読み通り。<笑><笑> おそらく無惨を滅ぼせるのは日の光に伸びてはないかと思っているなんか親方様による爆破と協力者による弱体化があってこれほどの余力を残した状態この血の気球が岩の呼吸三の肩うん<笑> Oh, 
The way the camera is just sort of like throwing around all of the Hashiras and stuff like, oh my goodness, this episode. Oh shoot. What's with the smile? <gasps> I should have known. I should have predicted it. Wait, all of them? Oh my gosh. Was <laughs> Was that Zenith to Oh so that's why they were keeping an eye on all of them? The eyes, right? That's what the eyes were doing. So that they know when to open the door to the infinity castle. And the animation in this show, man. It's like super awesome. Woo! Beautiful face. No, don't put it on. I'm not proud of your aesthetic and everything, but you know. No. Where's Anisu? That's his sword. There he goes. Are you at? <sighs> Seems like he's fully conscious. Is he's not like you know when he's like asleep and then his you know cooler side shows up or whatever. It doesn't look like that. He looks like himself, but serious. They need to defeat the Biwa woman. Because I feel like she's the one that, you know, controls the Infinity Castle. Oh my gosh. And she's the one that controls the Infinity Castle. So if you like, you know, defeat her, then they're going to be back into the real world. Then they can battle him and keep him, you know, there until the sun rises and then he can just die. But it's not going to be that easy, of course. And then he has his ad other upper demons that clearly are going to be there in the Infinity Castle. Like, oh my God, this really feels like the final episode. But if it's really the final episode, then Nezuko has to play a part in it. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I could technically stop this right here <laughs> and stretch it out. Oh, the intro. I'm like, they're not going to play. <gasps> Wait, it really is the final episode? I thought... <laughs> I just like... I don't know what I was thinking in my head. It didn't feel like... It felt like, I don't know, in the back of my head. I'm thinking, okay, this 40 minute episode, whatever, is like two episodes put together into one and then I'm like okay even though they're playing the outro in the back of my mind there's that was the ending of the first part and then the second part was gonna come in <laughs> I know there's a, a, some kind of after credit because you know there's five minutes left but like oh my gosh this episode went about way too fast like I did not feel these 30 minutes I did not feel it at all. Damn! I was not expecting that. What is that? I don't know what that means. I. Oh. Yes, me too. 
柱の紹介だったら煉獄さんの紹介もしないとなんじゃないさんはかっこいいお兄様もういっぱい食べるのよこんな大きな釜いっぱいに炊いたさつまいもご飯をね二人で食べたのわっしょい<笑>懐かしいな俺も覚えているぞ<笑>頼んだぞ今天国さんいたよね炭治郎くんはい絶対鬼物児を倒そうね<笑>倒します必ず<笑>ワイオン<笑>Like the after credit scene that's gonna be happening inside the castle, or maybe they were gonna show Nezuko or something, show her getting ready, you know. But then it was a Taisho secret, and I'm like, oh, okay. And at first, we were talking about Kanroji, and then Kanroji is like, they said Kanroji was、um, Rengoku's、um, Sukugo, right? But then she's like, shouldn't we talk about him? And then, when she started saying that he was a cool big brother and all the things that、um, he was doing、um, with her and the brother and everything, and then I think it, it was also the soundtrack, like the music that was playing in the background, that's what brought up the emotions for me. And then you hear his voice, you hear them talking, and to them, basically, sort of like, In, in, in a part of the infinity castle, and then I'm here in the back of my mind asking myself, Could he possibly be alive? But we saw him die, so it's like I, I don't know, all of that was just swirling through me, and then I just like started crying and everything. <sighs> He's dead, the master is dead, but. What I loved about it is that he died on his own terms. It wasn't that he let Muzan kill him, you know? He had a plan. He knew he was coming. And he planted explosives all around the castle,、uh, the mansion. And、um, Rita Mayo also came. It's like it was this whole thing that he already planned out. Because he knew his time was up, and I loved it. Like, Muzan was so surprised, and I was so surprised. You know, when that explosion first happened, like, he was reaching out to、um, Kibusuji, was about to kill him, right? So, and then you see the Hashira coming, and all of that. And then the explosion started. For some reason, I thought it was Muzan's doing. That he just wanted to like blow everything up, like with the wives and the children, the wives, with the wife and the children, like blow everybody up. And since he's a demon and he can regenerate, he didn't particularly care about himself in that manner because he knew he wasn't gonna die from it. For some reason, that's where my mind was until he started talking about how、um, the master is the one that set this all up. Then I'm like, oh. And then, when they show that flashback with all the Hashiras and them discussing、um, that there should be at least two Hashiras with the master, like at all times, and Gyome is like,、oh, no, it's not gonna happen because the master has never, ever since he became a Hashira, he has never wanted any of the、um, Hashiras around him and all of that. And then I'm like, So that's why he didn't want them there, you know, because he was about to blow everything up and he didn't want them to be caught up in the explosions to die at the end, you know, from it. So that's why he's like, uh uh, 
I want to be there by myself and my family. And they also talk, told us exactly why the master and his family have been after Muzan for so long. And it's because they come from the same bloodline and because Muzan turned himself into a demon because he became a demon that sort of like it put a curse on their family line in such a way that any children that is born from his line they die early they're frail they die early and then a priest came one day and told them told probably a, a, a previous ancestor that the only way that this curse is going to end on their family is to kill Muzan, is to get rid of him. And from then on, they've been trying to do that, you know, for a thousand years, trying to kill Muzan. And, you know, I've been asking myself ever since this show started, like, the master doesn't look that old, right? But he kept calling the demon slayers my children. So in the back of my mind, I'm like, okay, so is he actually like really old? You know, older than he looks? Has he been alive for a thousand years? You know, by some, I don't know what. But <laughs> no, he hasn't. Um, I think he just called them his children because, you know, He's the master. <laughs> I don't know. I guess he's uh, probably. Be, I don't know. There, he's he's a descendant of previous masters and, and why not? And the Dean Slayers have always been, you know, loyal. I guess to the master and their his bloodline and everything. And so he considers all the Demon Slayers that have come and gone, you know, for all of these years, his children, you know. And when he told Guillaume his plan, he told him, you know, that Musa was going to come in like five days. And that they should take this opportunity to basically kill him. And he told him that... He was going to use himself as bait. And he's telling Gyome because he knows Gyome will not say, will not oppose the master's plan, but the others would. So he didn't tell them that he only told Gyome. And that's why he was there when, after Lili Tamayo, you know, they used that demon blood art. And then the blood art came from the, um, the guy that he turned at the market, right? I believe that's what she said. The guy he turned at the market uh, when Tanjiro was after him and then uh, was it a mar market? Whatever. Like he was, you know, among a whole bunch of people and he was passing himself except for this uh, husband with a wife and a kid. You know, we have never heard anything from the wife and the kid ever since that episode. We've never seen them. We don't know what happened to them. He probably killed them. You know? But he turned, well, he turned that, that man and then Tanjiro, you know, stop the man from killing some other person and that's why lady tamayo used his her demon blood art to sort of basically sort of like calm the situation or something or other and then that he cured the guy clearly or something and then no he didn't cure him i believe if i remember correctly that um basically the sort of like the guy can um, survive on basically like how she survives by just a, a little bit of blood you know from a blood bank or something or other like that or something I don't know I don't think he cured him like he became a, a like a human I think he's still a demon but you know either way that blood art came from that man and he used it on him cured him and everything and then um, her fist was also a Apparently, he absorbed her fist, right? And that fist had uh, uh, 
a poison not a poison but a substance that turns you back into a human so that must be affecting him some way but even if it's gonna affect him it's gonna take a whole lot of time because this guy has been there. like he's completely different from any other demon if he was just like a regular demon you know a run of the mill uh, demon that antidote that thing would have worked probably like instantly but because it's moves on you know it's gonna take a whole lot of time before that even takes effect on him so what was that <laughs> yeah so he did that and then um that's when she was like you uh, he made you my son you know do your thing and then he made you my son. <laughs> it felt like at one point he was using his uh weapon as some kind uh, as some kind of what do you call that those weapons uh sure i know the term what, what can i remember it no nunchucks nunchucks nunchaku <laughs> let me see nunchucks <laughs> Nunchuck, there's nunchuck, and then I'm like, no, let me say nunchaku. Nunchaku and nunchucks, they're different. Ah, same thing. Yeah, nunchaku. It felt like he was using the at some point like some kind of nunchaku, but then he swung that thing and it like crushed uh, Musa's head. But he regenerated and then it like they already felt like he wasn't gonna die like that and the only thing that was gonna kill him was sunlight and that's why he's been so obsessed with um you know Nezuko because now Nezuko can walk into the sunlight so he's now wants to go after her and all of that. <laughs> now the thing is the plan was after the explosion and then the poison in him. Oh, and they, they also told um, Lady Tamayo why she's also, she really also wants to kill Muzan. And it's because she was sick. She told, basically, you know how Muzan shows up and you, you want me to heal you or whatever. And you don't know what you're getting into. And she's like, yeah, I want to heal because I want to see my children grow up. That's what she's thinking. But when they turn you into a demon, you don't really have control over your actions. She turns around and kills her family. And she was so heartbroken about that. She killed also other towns people. You know, as she was, as her and Muzan were talking about what happened to her and if they her story and all of that, I started feeling emotional as well. Especially when she said that I wanted to heal I wanted to become a teammate because I wanted to see my, you know, my children grow up. When she says that, I think that's what hit me the most. And I was feeling emotional about it. But yeah, so now because of that, she's been, and she killed a whole bunch of people. And now she's trying to atone and she's trying to kill Muzan. And that's why she's like, that's why I'm going to die here with you, you know, to atone for my sins and all of that. And then he told Himejima to do his thing. And then he swung. He didn't die. And then the plan, like I was saying, the plan was to... Now they... They said that if he didn't die by the head being cut off, then there's going to have to be like a drawn out battle to keep Mosan outside into the sun until the sun came up so that he can die that way and the hashiras oh my gosh that also was feel i was feeling emotional about it because the hashiras love the master so much and then when the crow was like emergency emergency and everybody was running toward the um the mansion and everybody was saying master you can see some tears in some people's eyes you can see they feel the anguish from them like all of that like the love that they have for him I don't know, that was also getting me emotional. And then they get there, the, the thing, everything blew up. The master is gone. They see uh, Guillaume, you know, they see Tamayo's hand in uh, Muzan's body or whatever. Guillaume is there. And then he just was like, 
it's him, it's Muzan. And then the camera sort of like painted or like around every Hashira that just showed up. Like they're showing them from the back, which was really cool. Like the animation in the show has like it's been like top notch ever like since the very first episode. So it's like everybody's there and like they I lo- also love that. The discussion between I feel like I'm jumping all over the place. The discussion between uh Muzan and um Kibusuji, what the freak? <laughs> Muzan Kibusuji, Muzan and Buyashiki. I when uh, they were talking about eternity, he asked Muzan what his dream was, and he's like, he, he's dreaming about eternity. I already know that eternity is the human will, and you know, if you because of all the things that you've been doing like for all these thousand years all these people have never forgiven you and that has been carried on for years and years and years and years and years and it's still gonna be you know like that's eternity you if we cut off your head you like if we kill you you and all of your demons are gonna die so it's like that's that that's it for you (laughs) you know and that struck a chord in um, Muzan, you know, because Ubushiki had a, had a, an idea that that's what was going to happen, but that was confirmed with how Muzan reacted to that. The fact that if he dies, that every demon is going to die. So that's like, ugh, you know. And then at one point in their conversation, he said, I knew you were going to come to kill me personally, but I'm not that important, you know. I'm, I'm not i'm not that important but what my death will do is fire up all the hashira because they love him so much and that's what happened you know they got there everybody's like uh, you know upset and they did like that's him that's mozan and then everybody started doing the moves and then boom infinity castle and at first you know because Muzan is there I'm like okay so he's bringing them into his castle you know but then you see I think it was um, Kenya that they first showed boop he's also in there (laughs) and then you see uh, Inosuke he was about the way he was looking around is anybody looking at me or whatever? I don't know why. <laughs> I felt like he took, <laughs> since I don't know what's going on with Zenitsu, so like, you know, he's been so focused on, I guess, training and all of that. And he's not really been eating that much, it feels like. So in my mind, I'm thinking that's probably Zenitsu's portion. And he's looking around to see if, you know, anybody was going to whatever. And then he was about to eat it and that that's when he dropped as well and then they showed other demon slayers drop and i'm like oh that's probably why that biwa woman or whatever her name was nakime has to be keeping an eye on the demon slayers they've been following the demon slayers around so that they know where to open the door for them to drop into the infinity castle where they said it's this episode that the demons have disappeared they're not showing up they're whatever so these demons have been waiting at the infinity castle for the demon slayers to drop in and that so that they can kill the demon slayers and then be done with you know every, with them and all of that so that was happening and i'm like okay Where's Zenitsu? Where's Zenitsu? And then you see this one sword, yellowish sword. And I'm like, oh, that's his sword. And then he just like grabbed hold of it. And he had his eyes closed, you know, for a second. And then he opened it with all this seriousness and all of that. And I'm like, usually, Zenitsu is like, ah, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And then he gets conked out. He, he He's sleeping or whatever. And then that's when his other personality, the one that's really, you know, ready to fight, is like there. He has his eyes closed usually. And he sort of like has this, not a booger, but whatever, nose 
thingy that's there and then you know you know the serious zeniso is here you know to do battle but this particular case that's not what happened i feel like it was actually zeniso zeniso but really really serious you know and i'm like i don't know like i've like i said in a previous reaction there's i saw this thumbnail or whatever oh i don't know if it was sort of like a compilation you know how there's a video a channel that will post a video of other reactors reacting to a particular scene or something that happened in a show or in a movie you know there was something like that but with zenistu's entrance into the infinity castle and i'm like okay so i was expecting him to do something extraordinary or something you know but when it was just him grabbing hold of the sword and all of that i didn't really see anything apart from him being like him being the serious clearly he makes serious about being there and what he needs to do i don't really see why it was such a big deal <laughs> you know that there will be a video about it about his entrance into the infinity castle like i don't know but he's also there so all the demon slayers are there all the hashira are there um tanjiro of course is there nezuko the last we saw of nezuko she was with um uh why am i forgetting his name haganeska no 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 haganeska haganeska is uh, the uh, the one that makes the sword sakonji He's with she's with Sakonji. That's where we saw um, her last. So and clearly, based on what Muzan said this episode, they haven't found her yet because he told um, Obiashki that he's was gonna have a lifetime to look for um, Nezuko. So clearly, they have not seen her yet. They haven't found her yet. So she also has to play a part in this. You know, here <sighs> yeah, I was asking myself if this was gonna be the final episode. <laughs> Clearly not, because a whole lot of things needs to happen. I'm like, the upper demons, we haven't seen them either. So it's like, oh my gosh. I can only imagine like the amazing battles that, that are coming. Like they are inside the infinity castle where clearly all the upper rank demons are gonna be there and then if you're the lower rank or whatever like every demon is there ay, ay, ay. i don't know i don't know how they're gonna do this but they're gonna have to do it they're gonna have to find a way to defeat buzan and all those demons and you know us to learn more about the link between tanjiro and Muzan and the, the 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 necklace and not the necklace the earrings and all of that there's there's a whole lot of stuff to be done um oh it's demon slayer season five let me see what uh when it's gonna be coming what demon slayer's final season to be released as film trilogy Mm. Let me see. Mm, that's not what I was looking for. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay. <laughs> Team Slayer 5, the final run of the beloved anime known as the Infinity Castle Arc. Oh, okay will be released as a trilogy of films distributed by Crunchyroll and Sony Pictures Entertainment Beyond Japan. Crunchyroll announced the trilogy following the release of season 4, its final episode. No release dates or even a rough release schedule for the films were given, but they were confirmed to be coming to theaters. This isn't the first time the Messier has released film adaptations of this episode of his episodes. However, and given how popular the anime is, it's likely season five of the show will also release as normal with film adaptations coming alongside it all later. <sighs> it's 
it's like um i'm like debating whether to see in theaters or not i, I don't want to see it in theaters i want to react to it but then i'm like like i said you know because i watch a whole lot of demon slayers and uh, your youtube and youtube's algorithm is going to be showing you stuff if other people go and see it in the movies and then they talk about it and then youtube is going to be like oh you like demon slayers right so i'm gonna show you a thumbnail of something about demon slayer and the thumbnail is spoilerish so it's like uh, uh, if it would be awesome but this is not gonna happen <laughs> like that <laughs> if they will release it like uh both in the theaters and on Crunchyroll, like at the same time, then I, I can, you know, watch it and not be spoiled about anything after that. But it's not gonna happen. They're not gonna do that. Uh, frickity frack. A brief look at the upcoming films was given with a poster below showing protagonist Tanjiro falling through the alternate dimension Infinity Castle, controlled by Big Baddy Muzan. The all out war begins. The caption reads. Uh, so is Muzan that's controlling the Infinity Castle? I always thought it was the Biwa woman. The brief trailer was also released again showing the Infinity Castle alongside the key players of the arc. Wait, where, where is this? Uh, trailer? The all out war begins. Let me see. I don't know if this is the trailer or not, but okay, official trailer. Let's see. Okay, official trailer of the Kimetsu no Yaiba Infinity Castle. Here we go. Uh, yeah. I just remembered when um, Zanitsu was falling. He you, his face was there, right? And then he just like put on his boar hat. Eternity. This the poster. <sighs> the movie. <laughs> Here I was thinking. Here I was thinking. Uh, let me see what people say about it. But I'm like, no, I'm not gonna read any comments because that's what I, I made the mistake of doing that when it came to Attack on Titan, and then I was spoiled that Mikasa was gonna kill Eren. So it's like, no. Nah. Not looking at any comments at all, but yeah, it's like I was saying, you know, skate <laughs> when he was falling, and then he was looking or looking around or whatever. They put on his mask, and you can clearly tell that he was super excited <laughs> about being there. You know, I, I can't wait for him to be saying, "Coming through, coming through." You know, guys, he loves saying that. Oh my god, this episode was like. It was amazing like it, it was it was everything i just love how he went out like how the master went out he didn't just let muzan kill him he had a plan and the plan probably would have worked had you know the infinity castle thing not happened but of course muzan's not gonna die just like easily like that you guys are gonna they're gonna have to work for it like really hard and I can't wait to see it. So, thank you guys for watching. Oh, yeah, this is the last episode. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, I was thinking. I had a... Um, uh, I was debating which anime to watch after. You know, I didn't I didn't think about the Mr. ending, like, today as I'm watching it. But I was thinking about what anime to watch later. And on my Crunchyroll account, I share my um, account with my brother. He also is into anime. So his thumbnail 
like his um icon or whatever was of a, a character that looks really cool and i'm like okay well, who's that character like who is he what show is he from and all of that and he's a he's a character in blue lock i'm like okay and there was also another anime that he was talking to me about uh what was it called again i'm not sure if i can find it at the I go to home, but it was a, a character, uh, a show that was also. It looked like it's popular, or whatever. It was a fighting show. He sort of like described it to me as some a little bit of Jujutsu Kaisen kind of feel and whatnot. And I'm like, okay, so which one should I watch? And he's like, okay, what have you been watching? Lately, and I told him all the things I've been watching, and he's like, is it like, is it like, okay, is it like combat and fighting and stuff? And I'm like, yeah, the, the, most of the things that I've been watching are, you know, fighting anime and stuff. And then he's like, okay, so watch Blue Lock, because it's about you know soccer and all that. I'm like, okay, well, since I haven't, I've watched Haikyuu. Then I asked him, have you watched Haikyuu? And he's like, no. I'm like, bro, what are you doing? Go watch Haikyuu. But he's like, no, I, start, I just started the, uh, this new anime. I need to finish it first and whatnot. And then now he's rewatching Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> because at, he said that they were, I don't know if they were continuing the manga or they were finished the manga or whatever. And that they're probably going to be, you know, they're probably going to continue with the the anime or something or other. So he's been rewatching Hunter x Hunter right now. So it's like, yeah, um... I'm gonna be watching Blue Lock. Basically, that's where um <laughs> I was gonna um uh, end up at. So, if you want to see my first episode of Blue Lock, the link is gonna be in the pinned comments. So just click on it and watch it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh, as face call, nerves of steel. Here's the deal. Better watch out.